you know what I think I will vlog today um I just want to show you life as true and honest as it is during these times and I have to go to work today I'm a little bit worried about riding the early morning train we'll see if it's actually that crowded I have to be a little quiet now because boyfriend's asleep and I had to get up kind of extra early today not my natural wake up early time but anyway I ate my soup that I had already pre-made had some of my cereal that I really like. I'll show you guys in a second and I'm making my fried banana. Had some coffee um, and I'm working on editing another video from previously that I've been meaning to edit and post for a while. So I'm going to work. Um, my last uh, lesson that I have today is actually canceled so I do get done really early and I'll be home pretty early which is nice. Uh, and I'll be following Miss Governor, Mayor? Governor? Koike's orders by coming home as soon as I can after work. It's the best I can do and yeah, I'll show you guys out and about, I guess, my traveling and what it's like and what it looks like outside right now because <laughs> I have no option. So let's make the best of it. I'll show you guys. Yay. Delicious banana pudding you goo. It's warm. It tastes like pudding. It doesn't look very attractive here, but I promise you it's delicious. Shinjuku, I hope you can hear me right now. I took the Chuo line today and it is just as busy as any other day. Literally, like, no change. Uh, I'm feeling a little anxious about that because I haven't ridden the train in like four or five days, which is really weird. Usually I ride the train like all the time even when I don't have work. But, yeah, <laughs> it's very, very busy right now. Um, I need to pay attention to where I'm going. Today's location is Yokohama, I'm here. Um, yeah, going into Shinjuku is extremely busy right now as usual in the morning. Yokohama's not like heading out of Shinjuku towards Yokohama, not super busy. But like the people heading towards Shinjuku, like getting on the train at Yokohama, there's a lot of people. So it still seems just as crowded in the morning. I mean, I don't usually go to Yokohama, so I don't know what it's normally like in the morning here. But yeah, there's lots of people around, just as usual, I guess. I mean, of course, I don't know for sure. I'm just speaking from my point of view, what I'm seeing with my own eyes and camera right now. So I don't know about other places or other days or different times of the day. But this is my experience right now. And I just want to show you guys what it's like. There's a whole line of people waiting outside this drugstore here. Here. Not sure what they're waiting for. Maybe toilet paper. Who knows? Or masks. I got here a little bit early and I found a river with sakura trees all along it. I got distracted and veered off my path straight to work already. 
it looks like a lot of the sakura petals are gone but there's quite a few trees that still have them i thought the snow would have gotten rid of all of them but then again i don't know if the snow hit yokohama as hard as it hit tokyo but yeah there's some sakura left oh my gosh sakura 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 ah they're so pretty i didn't know this river was here i haven't really explored yokohama very much i've only come here a couple times for work related things or i think i actually came here for twice for photo shoots and then for the red brick warehouse and that pokemon event which are two vlogs i think i did before i've never just come here and like had time to wander around a bit and i've always been just like going straight to one place there's like some flowers on the ground too yay oh it's so pretty hang on let me show you guys there's also quite a bit of garbage along this walkway maybe a lot of people come here at night for like drinking and stuff kind of reminds me of that uh canal in okayama when i had to go there for when i first moved back to japan there are like lots of like nightlife and people sitting around that like canal drinking out in nature it was really cool but they should clean up the garbage so yeah anyway let me show you the beautiful things next there's like a you could go that way towards the city or that way to the cherry blossoms and then here looks like Someone was having a little drinking party out here. Many forgotten umbrellas, or maybe broken umbrellas. Who knows? Okay, I finished my classes. A lot less students came than I thought, but we still did have some show up, which is good, I guess. Um, and now I'm gonna try to find the nearby book off because when in any new location, that is what I do. I find whatever nearby secondhand store. I have a two hour long lunch break right now, so we'll see what I can find. I don't know Yokohama very well, I've never really wandered around so I'm kind of excited to see what I can find. Okay apparently there's a book off in this building, the Vivre, Vivre building. We'll check it out and see if there's one inside. I don't see any signs though. Okay this book off is just books and anime and figures and stuff so we're gonna try another one I think. what I just accidentally ran into. I did not know this was here. Pom Pom Pudding Cafe. So cute. After five right now, and I'm in Shinjuku Station, and it is weirdly empty. Actually, surprisingly, I don't know if it's normally this empty around five-ish because I don't always come home around this time. So. Um, yeah, the train looks like there's a lot of people riding it, so maybe it's still there. you guys I just got home it is around six o'clock um, the train was not super crowded on the way back home it was still more people in closer contact than I wanted but it was not super bad I don't know if that's just because it was only around like 530 ish because I don't uh, every day uh, the train times are different for me since I'm going to different locations and like some classes are closing and remaining open some days I get to go home earlier so yeah, I don't know if that's normal or not. So anyway, now that I'm at home, oh, so boyfriend is not home 
he still has his last day of work at his A Kaiwa. Um, he only works on Tuesdays, I believe. And he might continue doing that only on Tuesdays, but then after that, he doesn't actually have a job, which is not because of the whole virus thing, though that did affect his hours before. And the restaurant job, it did affect that. But he actually is quitting his job and he's between jobs because he was supposed to start. He was hired as a teacher for a high school, but he actually isn't able to start that for another year. He's still not finished with his school. So he's between jobs and that's a little worrying because if there is a actual shutdown and something happens with my job, it's a little worrying because I'm going to be the main one bringing in most of the money for now. He's currently job hunting, but now is a really awful time for job hunting because a lot of jobs are cutting hours and cutting people right now. And Tokyo is on the verge of possibly locking down and it's just up in the air. We don't know right now. So I'm a little bit worried about that. It's like, I don't know. I'm thinking like, it could just be the end of the world. I could die. I want to eat and do whatever and spend money on whatever. And then I'm like, no, I need to like collect up food and things and save and be ready and it's just like my mind is constantly flipping between these two things and yeah I don't know just wanted to share that feeling anyway I just got home and so I'm gonna do my ab workout I think I'm gonna come out of this whole mess with abs and <laughs> I'm going to do my bike workout thing, which I didn't actually do yesterday, uh, but also I ate less yesterday, I guess, so it was okay, because my legs are feeling kind of sore, because I think I've been doing it every day since I had a lot of time at home, um, so I took a break from it yesterday, but today I ate kind of like more normally, ate a little bit more protein, so I'm going to do my exercises and then do some editing, I guess. I don't like being home alone after I've been with boyfriend so much. I actually kind of like being quarantined with him. I hope that's a thing we have to do. All right, guys, it's like 1040 at night. I've been editing and like doing a whole lot of nothing for the most part. Boyfriend is still out. Whenever he works on Tuesdays, he's always out pretty late because um, they always go out to eat or something after. Plus it's his last day and yeah. I did some editing and I'm so tired that I'm going to go to bed now. So, see you guys tomorrow.